you're looking at the most advanced electric motor ever built. This is Tesla's carbon-wrapped masterpiece. You've seen it in the Model S Plaid, the $110,000 beast that leaves Lamborghinis wondering what just happened. But what if we told you that same technology is about to be upgraded to deliver 40% more performance all while living inside Elon Musk's upcoming low-cost Model 2? And what if it did all this using zero rare earth elements? Hidden inside this groundbreaking design is a new carbon fiber cladding, now made even stronger with materials pulled directly from the aerospace industry. When the Model 2 finally hits the streets, this motor won't just break limits, it will shatter them. More durable, wildly more efficient, and almost impossibly less expensive. So how did Tesla crack the code? How do you use less energy to create more performance? Is it really true that this motor could cost less than $1,000, yet last three times longer than the engine sitting in your driveway right now? We're about to tear down the potential of this revolutionary carbon-wrapped motor, but before we do, if you love deep dives into the future of automotive tech, hit that subscribe button, join the Dravexa family, and help us drive the future forward. You might think an EV motor is simple, electricity in, motion out. But the real battle, the secret to next-level performance, isn't just power, it's speed. How fast can you spin that central rotor? For decades, every engineer on Earth ran into the same physical wall, a wall that Tesla just tore down. You see, no matter how powerful, conventional electric motors can't spin faster than 16,000 RPM before they simply self-destruct. That's because traditional motors are prisoners of their own materials. They're built with metal components that heat up, expand, and warp under pressure. That heat kills efficiency and limits how fast they can run. But about four years ago, Tesla redefined the game. They shattered that limit by wrapping the rotor in a carbon fiber composite sleeve, barely 0.1 millimeters thick. First unleashed in the Model S Plaid, this sleeve allowed the rotor to withstand immense centrifugal forces. We're talking 7,000 megapascals of tensile strength. That is five times stronger than steel, all while handling 200 degrees centigrade without breaking a sweat. With that one move, Tesla pushed their motors past 20,000 RPM, leaving every other automaker in the dust. But here's what you need to realize. Pushing to 20,000 RPM wasn't the end goal. It was the proof of concept. It proved the physics could be broken. But to put this in a car for the masses, to make it affordable, they needed to rewrite the entire rule book. They needed a material that wasn't just strong. It had to be lighter, cheaper, and a thermal miracle. And they found it. But you need to understand, 20,000 RPM was just the warm-up. Now for the upcoming Model 2, Musk's team is taking it even further. They're not just using standard carbon fiber, they've upgraded to a carbon-graphene hybrid composite. Think of it as infusing the carbon with the strongest, thinnest material known to man, a layer just 0.1 nanometers thick. This single change boosts the tensile strength to a staggering 10,000 megapascals, pushing the rotor's new red line to an insane 25,000 RPM. But here's the twist. Raw speed is just the headline. The real story is brutal efficiency. The core strength of this motor is using less energy to deliver more performance. This new graphene layer is 30% lighter, shedding parasitic mass and cutting the motor's weight from 45 kg down to just 38 kg. For you, that means the motor needs less energy just to spin itself, sipping 11 kilowatts to cruise at 110 km per hour, where the old one needed 15 kilowatts. That's a 12% energy loss reduction right out of the gate. Graphene's real superpower, though, is heat. In an EV, heat is the enemy. It's wasted energy. It's lost range. Normal carbon fiber is good at handling heat, but graphene is a thermal siphon. It transfers heat five times faster. Imagine the old plaid motor spinning at 20,000 RPM, it could heat up to 180 degrees centigrade, literally burning away 10% of your battery as waste heat. The Model 2's motor? It stays at a cool 110 degrees centigrade. That 10% of wasted electricity is just gone. 
This motor fundamentally changes the physics. It converts energy into motion with almost zero loss. This allows the Model 2 to use 99.7% of its battery power to propel the car. Compare that to 90% in the Plaid, or less than 80% in a conventional EV. Let that sink in. 99.7% efficiency. That's not just an engineering stat, it's the key that unlocks the entire $15,000 car. Why? Because if your motor is that efficient, it wastes almost nothing. And if it wastes nothing, you need a smaller battery to get the same 380-mile range. The battery is the most expensive part of any EV. By perfecting the motor, Tesla just solved the battery problem. This is how you change the world. A smaller, lighter, cheaper battery pack, all made possible by a motor that doesn't turn your range into waste heat. This is how you get 268 horsepower and 350 newton meters of torque, enough to launch the Model 2 from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in under three and a half seconds. And that 400 mile theoretical range? This motor makes it a 370 mile real world reality. Longer distances, fewer charging stops, and far less battery wear. Think about your current car. Does your gas engine ever actually hit its claimed MPG? Does your EV start to struggle the second you look at a steep hill? If you believe Tesla has finally crushed those old limits, drop a true power in the comments below. We read them all. But the speed, the range, that's not even the most shocking part. The real question is this. How does Musk plan to make this rare, earth-free, hyper-advanced engine for under $1,000? While competitors are stuck trying to balance efficiency, production, and cost, Tesla has already solved the problem, and they're about to put this $1,000 miracle motor inside a car that costs just $15,000. You have to understand the old rules of EV manufacturing. For decades, if you wanted a powerful, efficient motor, you had no choice. You had to use expensive, exotic materials. We're talking rare earth elements like neodymium and terbium. These magnets are incredibly strong, but they come at a staggering cost, up to $300 a kilogram. That's why a single, standard EV motor today can cost $3,000 before it even gets put in the car. But here's the real problem, the dirty secret of the EV industry. 90% of that critical supply is controlled by a single country. One policy change, one trade dispute, and the price doesn't just rise, it explodes overnight. For a company that wants to build millions of cars, that's not a supply chain. That's a dangerous gamble. So Elon Musk did what Tesla always does. They changed the rules. They engineered a permanent magnet motor that uses zero rare earths. Instead, they turned to ferrite magnets. You might not have heard of them, but they're made from the cheapest, most common materials on earth, iron and clay. The cost? Not $300 a kilo. Try $1. That single move already slashed the price of their high-performance motor down to $1,700, 45% less than the competition. But for the Model 2, they go even further. They're not using virgin carbon fiber for that revolutionary sleeve. They're using recycled carbon fiber from old vehicles. This circular economy approach isn't just good for the planet, it cuts another 40% off the material costs, saving over $400 per unit. Just like that, the price of this next-gen motor drops to $1,100. And $1,100 isn't the final number. This is where you see the true genius of the Tesla machine. You see, any other automaker, Ford, GM, Volkswagen, they would have to call a supplier. They'd beg for this tech and they'd pay a fortune for it. Their multi-billion dollar factories aren't designed to make motors. They're designed to assemble parts from someone else. Tesla 
is the supplier. They use vertical integration. They don't just design the car, they design the motor, the battery, the software, and crucially, the robot that makes the motor. This is the machine that makes the machine, and it's their ultimate weapon. It allows them to save time, save labor, and absolutely crush costs. This is how you win the EV war. If you're enjoying this breakdown of Tesla's manufacturing, do us a favor and hit that like button. It tells the algorithm you want more content just like this, and it truly helps support the Dravexa channel. At Gigafactory Texas, this new motor will be built on a line that is 99% robotized from high-pressure carbon winding to AI-controlled stator integration. It cuts the defect rate to almost zero. And when you make two million of these, the price doesn't just fall, it collapses. The final cost isn't $3,000. It's not $1,100. The final cost is $850. This $850 price tag is the killer blow, and it's only possible because of speed. We're not talking about 0 to 100, we're talking about units per hour. This new hyper-robotized line isn't just cheap, it's fast. It's designed to stamp out these motors with a speed and precision that traditional automakers with their human-centric assembly lines can't even comprehend. It's a manufacturing moat a mile wide, and Tesla is the only one with the drawbridge. You need to understand what this means for the industry. This innovation doesn't just put Tesla ahead, it puts every other automaker in an impossible position. Because if you, the consumer, are offered a car that is cleaner, more sustainable, more powerful, and dramatically cheaper, why would you ever choose anything else? But the revolution isn't just in the price, it's in your wallet every single day after you buy the car. We're talking about the end of maintenance as you know it. The key is in the wear, or more accurately, the lack of it. Think about a traditional gas engine in a Corolla or a Civic. It's a miracle of complexity, but it's also its own worst enemy. You have hundreds of moving parts, pistons, valves, crankshafts, gears, all exploding, grinding, and wearing each other down. You're lucky to get 250,000 miles before a catastrophic $5,000 repair. Now, you might think a standard EV, like a Nissan Leaf, is the answer. It's better. It only has around 30 moving parts, but it's still plagued by limits. Heat is the enemy. It builds up, wears out bearings, deforms the rotor, and cooks the battery, leading to $10,000 replacement bills. That's not the future. This is the future. Tesla's new motor is a masterpiece of simplicity. It has one main moving part, the rotor. That's it. Add in a few simple bearings, and you have a powertrain with one-tenth the moving parts of a normal EV. That difference is everything. The carbon-wrapped design, the one that spins at 25,000 RPM, eliminates the destructive forces of vibration, friction, and heat. The failure risk isn't just cut, it's practically erased. This isn't a motor designed to last 200,000 miles. This is a motor Tesla designed to last 1.2 million miles. That is not a typo. 1.2 million miles. That's 25 to 30 years of driving without a replacement. You will never need an oil change. You will never need a spark plug. You will never have an engine overhaul. Your maintenance schedule becomes checking the coolant, maybe, and replacing the cabin air filter. Over 10 years, you might spend $1,000. Your neighbor with a gas car? He'll be spending $10,000. What does a 1.2 million mile motor feel like? It feels like confidence. It's the end of range anxiety. It's the end of that little voice in your head wondering what that check engine light means.
It's the silent, instant, brutal torque you get on day one and on day 10,000. It's the feeling of a machine perfected, where the only thing you ever have to worry about is where you want to go next. In the end, this is why the Model 2 is a true game changer. Elon Musk isn't just building a car. He's building a new system. It's not just about speed anymore. It's about scale, sustainability, and a lifespan that redefines what a car can be. If you found this breakdown helpful, smash that like button and be sure to subscribe to Dravexa. We're dedicated to bringing you the tech that's changing our world. Stay electric and we'll see you in the next one.